Let's take a look at how we can think about equivalent fractions in an abstract way. Here I have one half, and we can see that half is blue and half is green. But can I think about half as though it's tenths? And find out how many tenths are equivalent to my one half. I can do that by splitting up my one into tenths. That means I need to have ten equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We know this works because it is exactly the same length as my one. To find out how many tenths is the same as one half, I just need to count how many there are on one side of my one. One, two, three, four, five. So I can see that five, five tenths are the same as one half. But how can we think about this in an abstract way? So we've just said, using the blocks, that one half and five tenths are the same. But if we're going to think about this in an abstract way, we can use times tables to help us. Using times tables, can you think of a link between the numbers in our fractions? Hopefully you might have worked out that 1 times 5 equals 5 and that 2 times 5 equals 10. By continuing to times by 5, you can keep finding the equivalent fractions of 1 half and 5 tenths. So 5 times 5 is 25 and 10 times 5 is 50. Then 25 times 5 is 125, and 50 times 5 is 250. Using that pattern, we can see that 1 half is equivalent to 5 tenths, which is equivalent to 25 fiftieths, which is equivalent to 125 two hundred and fiftieths. Let's take a look at one more example. Here you can see I have one half, and I've split that into thirds. I want to find out how many sixths one third is equivalent to. So I need to split my amount into sixths. I have 12 here so I can do 12 divided by 6 to work out how many sixths one sixth is. I know that 12 divided by 6 is 2. So two of my blocks can help me make one sixth. I can check that by making sure the two blocks takes up the same amount of space, which it does. I now need to work out how many sixths are equivalent to one third. Because I've got each third in a different color, I can see very easily. So I can see that two sixths is the same. Using our times tables idea, I can now work out more equivalent fractions. So one third is the same as two sixths. I know that one times two is two, and that three times two is six. So all I need to do is keep times in by two to help me work out what the next equivalent fraction is. So 2 times 2 is 4, and 6 times 2 is 12. Then 4 times 2 is 8, and 12 times 2 is 24. 
So I know that one third is equivalent to two sixths, which is equivalent to four twelfths, which is equivalent to eight twenty fourths.